Come back to another uh, jam-packed, artful uh, program, virtual program, featuring me, Denzel, program specialist out of Girl Scouts South County. Today, um, it being Art Week this week, we're going to create some um, different things along the week, different art pieces. Um, today, we're going to start off pretty easy. We're going to do some finger painting. Um, so I got my Crayola uh, paint sticks, and we're just going to use my fingers mostly with these. So we're going to get uh, our hands dirty. Um, I have some water, paper towels to wipe my hands off if need, if need be. Um, so the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to do a quick design of our names, just a fancy design of that. And then the next one we'll do, we'll make like a garden and we'll try to make um, using our own, use, making a garden with only our thumbs or our fingerprints. All right. So stay tuned, we'll get into it. So first we're gonna, uh, let me just get this, get this right. We're gonna decorate our name here. Wanna get a nice royal, royal blue or purple color in there. Get some more of this. Maybe I should just write it with this and then we can figure it after. So you want to get a good design with your name and then we can be as fancy as we want at the at the end. So you can write your name in capital letters, lowercase letters, however where you want to. I'm just gonna do mine pretty simple. Hopefully I can squeeze it all on the page. Okay, cool. So now, as you see, that is my name. Maybe reversed, but you can see it. All right. So now, let's get some uh, some yellows in there. Uh oh, I forgot our yellow was mixed with our orange. It's okay. Make a little little design here. Boom, I like that. It's a little crown. <laughs> uh, let's color it in a little bit. You know, this orange and yellow mixture kind of makes it pretty cool. All right, sweet. Now let's see, what else can we do with this? Let's make, um, Make my name in the mountains, huh? Big, big, big mountains. I'm trying to put the little squigglies in there to make it show like it's the mountains. Look at that, my name's in the mountains. It's like Hollywood, but except them so. <laughs> and then we're gonna color these in a little bit. I'm just gonna do this first with these and then we'll put the finishing touches with our hands so we can be more exact. So what else what we can do is we can put a little small, oh, I forgot all our colors are mixed together. Um, we can put a little small little ocean scene in here. This is something I might want to use my hands for. Oceanic look, you know. Look at that. Okay, so now King Denzel in the mountains. 
Let's give it a sun, right? Sun's important. And I'm also gonna do a yellow sun. I'm gonna do an orange sun. So we're incorporating all of our colors here. Perfect. See, that's the dangers of the uh, of the finger painting. You gotta almost dedicate a color to each finger. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Now, what do we want to do? We want to add some more colors to this, huh? Let's make a let's make a volcano coming out, <laughs> right? Let's make a little make these shoot out a little bit, and then let's have a little a little bit of a red coming down. Make all these active volcanoes. Doing a nice art tutorial here. Okay, so now we've got King Gonzo, a little bit of water, some mountains, and a volcano. So let's spruce up my name a little bit here. Let's, uh, Let's give it a, a nice, something that clashes. Let's give it a nice uh, orange, orangey background, huh? No, green, green. Purple and green looks great because of the Hulk.
right. And there you have our name design. Um, as you can see here, I have some uh, volcanoes, some water, and I put a nice little decoration behind my name. Just a simple thing, just to warm us up, you know, we're gonna get into a more uh, artistic, uh, a more artistic uh, design after this, but just, you know, to warm up, make sure that we're getting our creative brains on. And um, yeah, so what I like to do is, instead of, you know, how artists usually put their, uh, you know, signature on it, what I'm gonna do is, I like to put my little thumbprint on it so that nobody could take it and it's only gonna be me All right so we're trying to decorate my thumb a little bit and I'll give it boom oh ah, there we go and there we have it signed sealed delivered okay so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our little um flower garden so Let's take some time, let's clean our hands off, and let's get uh, refocused, and we'll go back and we'll do our little garden design. All right, see you guys in a minute. So we're back. So now we put away our paint dry sticks, and now we have our watercolors. Uh, we're not gonna use our brush, because we don't need them. We have 10 brushes right here, and we have, well, 10 colors. <laughs> All right, so let's make our garden, right? Um, so let's start with, uh, a brown or oh, green actually let's start with a green so we can make the grass maybe a little bit more water in here just so the green doesn't dry out stays wet there we go Almost done with our grass. Cool. Let that dry a little bit. Let's get a nice paper towel off so we can stay clean while we're doing this, not make a big mess. As you see, we put a tablecloth down. This is a white table. Could not have the skin spilled and art on it. So we put the tip a towel or tablecloth so that, you know, we're good, we have paper towels everywhere. We have our tie-dye paper towel for my wet hands. All right, so now the grass is done. Um, let's make some brown. So we can make a little, our flower stems. Oh, let's make a tree, huh? Make a big tree. brown and make it big big one okay that's our big tree um then let's add some hmm what do you think we can make this tree? Let's, let's make it a palm tree, huh? That doesn't look like a palm tree, but uh, you know, it's not that counts. 
or we can make it any tree and we can put some fruits on it. How about that? See, the art of the finger painting is to make it as natural as possible. It kind of looks like a brown carrot, but we'll, we'll make it. Maybe it's a banana tree. Let's think about that. Okay, so now we'll put some more branches here. Some thin branches. Right? Maybe get these intertwined a little bit. Now what we can do is, let's make it an apple tree. Uh oh, some of the apples fell. Mix it up here. Looks more like a cherry tree, but hey, apples, cherries. Same thing. Put a couple of apples in the tree. Oh, I can make this a little bit better. Okay. So now we got our apple tree. And then uh, it looks, looks like a like a brown carrot like i said um but like i said before i am not an artiste um let's get the sun in there right very important that we have the sun the corner of the page i like to do i feel like that's like a second grade art trick you learn Put the sun in the corner of the page. All right, so the sun's beating down. Um, hmm. Let's make a flower, huh? Let's go back to this green look. Take the yellow. <clears throat> I get my thumbprint in there. We make a nice big flower with my thumbprint. Let that dry for a second. In the meantime, in between time, we can make another uh, little rose. <clears throat> a little rose here. Those roses are beautiful and, and necessary in our garden. Wish we had some white, we can make pink, but uh, red will do. May need some more water for the red. Okay. It's like a red light bulb, actually. I'm gonna get some. Uh... 
Oh, no, no, now it looks like a rose. Now it does. Okay, so we got a rose there. Now let's just um, <coughs> get some brown. And we'll make this our uh, sunflower. mixed with yellow now we got our plants there let's um let's add some to the sky here some blue clouds well it's a little bit of blue and green mixture Just drifting away, and uh, let's make a bird, huh? Make a little seagull. Now, what I have learned to make birds, I make them like a little. It's hard to do with uh, just your fingers. I didn't know that this would be so challenging. <laughs> It's a scarecrow, how about that? <laughs> All right, so um, we've made my beautiful art garden here, as you can see. We have an apple tree, we have a little rose, and we have a sunflower. And then we have our beautiful nameplate, which we made. So thank you for um, this experience in dealing with me, because I'm not a artist, I'm not arty at all, but I did it for you guys because I want you guys to paint with me. So send your artwork into Girl Scouts at Suffolk County on Facebook and at underscore at Girl Scout underscore SC on I on Instagram. Um, hopefully we can get some tie dye. Look at this. You got your tie dye paper towels because that's that's the beauty of it too. So. We, we, we did our thing here and um, join us for more Arts Week virtual programs. It is Denzel. I love painting with you guys today. Hope you had a good time.